What's up guys, Dark Deli here playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint and today I want to bring you guys a little bit of info on bivouacs, what they're used for, what they are, and well, how to best use them. These are camps that you can use for fast travel and that's like the most important utility of them is they're, you can use them to fast travel around the map once you unlock them. Now, there's several ways to find them. One way is to, well, you can identify them by the uh, smoke from the campfires in the distance. So if you see like trailing smoke from a campfire in the distance, that's a bivouac. And if you haven't discovered it, you can go discover it. You can unlock it and it will now be a fast travel point. Another great way to find them is via intel. Whenever you find intel, you often have choices between, um, you know, like enemy outposts or weapons or bivouacs. I always, I would suggest always select bivouacs first. It's most important to have intel on where they're at first because it gives you more fast travel points to find other stuff from, you know, to, to move from or to, you know. Now, that said, when you're setting up camp, if you are in co-op, when you're setting up camp in a bivouac, if you're in co-op, your teammates will sit down there with you. And it's kind of cool because you get to watch each other sit there by the campfire and you kind of get to kick it there and you choose your own things. And that's what we're going to talk about next. All right. So when you're sitting at the camp, you have five basic options, preparations, tactics, crafting, shop, and garage. All right. So preparations, what this is, this is like temporary buffs. These buffs last one hour each. So it's not unwise to periodically camp and reset your buffs. Uh, you can have one buff at a time. Each of these lasts one hour. You know, some of them are, you know, you know, accuracy increase, you know, experience increase, fatigue reduction, etc. Things like that. Very handy. So every time you camp at a bivouac, always be sure to, you know, some kind of buff that you want to keep going. I mean, personally, I like to use either the accuracy or the XP increase, but that's just me. All right. Next on the list is tactics. Tactics is going to be, that's where you change your class. As you know, as you probably know, as you may already know, and I will have a video on this. There's the field medic, there's the assault, there's the sharpshooter and the panther. This allows you to change your class. So like I'm a sharpshooter, I could use this to change to assault or field medic, whatever other class I have, you know, selected and put points into, etc. And there will be a separate video on that. Refer to um, the main uh, breakpoint um, guide video that I have. It has links to everything. It's all in the same playlist. All right. The next uh, item on the menu is craft. It just says craft. What this is, is here you, this is where you craft, honestly, crap that you run out of, right? Like uh, syringes, grenades, C4, you know, um, whatever it may be. This is where you craft those things. Like for instance here, you know, you know, I can use medicinal plants to craft more healing syringes. They make it pretty easy. You can just pile, for instance, in this case, any medicinal plant in there and bam, you make a healing syringe. It's not super scientific, but then again, um, this is a tactical shooter. It's not a crafting game. So you just kind of pile whatever in there and it's pretty easy to make stuff. All right. The next item down the list when you're camping at your bivouac is shop. You can access somehow magically the shop from here, but hey, I'm not complaining. I guess you have a traveling merchant who travels with you and allows you to purchase helicopters from your own personal camp. Again, I'm not complaining. So you can access the full capabilities of the shop from any bivouac that you camp at when, once you set up your little your little camp there. You can buy weapons, you can buy camouflage, you can buy vehicles, etc. things like that. It, it, it's handy to have the shop available there with you. Now, the last option we're going to have is garage. Now, this is where you're allowed to choose a vehicle, um, any, any vehicle that you own or, you know, in other words, have previously purchased and own, you can choose a vehicle from the garage and that will be placed for you when you break camp. That said, that leads us to the last option. All the way over to the right side of the screen, you can choose to break camp and you can choose what time of day you want to break camp at. That's all up to you and it's actually a really cool mechanic because it allows you to change the time of day even in co-op, which is something we couldn't do in Wildlands. Meaning in Wildlands, I mean, they recently, within the last few months or a year or so, or whatever, they allowed us to redeploy at different times of day. But in co-op, you're kind of screwed in Wildlands. Well, here it's different. Here, even in co-op, when you break camp, you can choose what time of day to deploy. So you can always, I mean, if you wanted to, you can use a bivouac as basically a hack to change the time of day in co-op. 
Now that's good for me as a filmmaker. So there's that, you know. All right, so that's basically an overview on Bivouac. So what they're for, setting up buffs. Uh, you can change your class. You can craft, and this is the most important part, crafting new items. You can use the shop and you can call vehicles. Like if you need to call a helicopter, just fast travel to a bivouac that's nearby, call a helicopter, bam. I mean, supposing you have one, right? There's also another good use for them and that's recharging. I don't know if recharging is the right word, but yeah, kind of uh, recharging class items. Like for instance, in my case, I'm a sharpshooter. So I have the sensor launcher. If you camp in a bivouac, it will just automatically refill your sensor launcher. Sharpshooter is the only class I've really cared to play. I mean, you know, so far to be quite honest, but I would assume it's the same for any other class item. It's just going to refill it for you. You don't have to worry about crafting them. So I like to have that item on me. So camping is a very important thing. All right, guys. So camping does a lot of great things for you. Suggest you try it out. Well, obviously you have. Everyone has. That's what they're for. That's how to find them. That's what they do. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Also, feel free to check out my main guide to um, Ghost Recon Breakpoint in the description below. And that video has links to all my other Breakpoint guides. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dark Deli. I will catch you guys next time.